We're asked what is the closed loop voltage gain in dB for the operational amplifier circuit shown. We need to assume that the op amp has an open loop voltage gain of 25.7 dB and is ideal in all other respects. And we have these two resistors here. So we're going to solve for a very general equation, but we're going to use a very general equation, but we can do that to solve this problem. And so the first step in solving this problem is looking in the notes and identifying what kind of amplifier we have. This is going to be an inverting amplifier. And the reason why we know it's an inverting amplifier is because we have our source voltage right here going into our negative inverting. So the source goes into the inverted part, which is negative. Now a non inverting one is if we have this power supply right here and it's connected to our positive input. And so now that we know that we can use the equation that we have down here. All we're going to do is plug in our values. We need to find our V out over V input. And the reason why we need to find our V out over our V input is because if we look at the notes on page six, this is on page 30. If we look at the ones on page six though, we can see that this is how we find our voltage gain. And we want to find the closed loop voltage gain. That's what it's asking us. And the closed loop voltage gain is going to be the voltage gain in decibels that we have right here. That's what it says. So this is going to be V and I'll just call it C G for a closed loop gain. That's actually a very bad subscript. So we're just going to call it the voltage gain and um, I'll just write it as a, and so a, well, that's actually going to be confusing also because our a of V is equal to our V out over V in. And in fact, that's why we need to find our V out over V in because the voltage gain is our V output over the V input, which we can find with our resistors here. And then we have with our open loop gain and the open loop gain is just the value that's sitting right here. That is this. So we have 25.7 dB. So we could plug all this into a calculator, which what I have done this here, we get a negative 3.8 approximately. Now we're going to take that negative 3.8 because that is what our AV is. And I'll write this down here. So for this problem, this equation, these numbers that we have here, we're going to have a negative 3.8 approximately. And then we're going to take this negative 3.8 because it's AV and we need to find our closed loop voltage gain. And again, this is going to be everything on the left. So we're going to plug in our AV. We just found this to the 20 log base 10. So if we have grab a calculator, it's going to be 20 log base 10. And then we're going to have not negative 3.8 um, because we have this absolute values in here. Note the absolute values. That's very important. Otherwise our log won't work. So we have 20 log base 10 of absolute values of negative 3.8. And that is going to give us approximately 11.7. So for this specific problem, the voltage gain in decibels, which is equivalent to the closed loop gain, which is what we wanted to find is about 11.7. It might be a little bit off because we're a random error, but that's how you look at this problem and anything like it.